the oldest bovine breeds in the world, coming from the northeast of Scotland, is the Angus breed, known for being created for the consumption of meat. Over time, this breed began to spread in countries of the American continent, such as Argentina, Uruguay, and the United States. Today, it has become one of the most popular breeds worldwide, thanks to its superior quality and tenderness of its meat. Between the years 1896 and 1898, the rancher and young man from Huila, Ricardo Perdomo, after his arrival in Colombia, after having lived in France and England for a large part of his life, dedicated himself to importing several specimens of pure cattle, among them the Angus breed. Today, from the farm of Antonio José Piñeros, Perdomo's great-grandson, who worked this cattle for the first time in our country, he opens his doors to us, and on behalf of the executive director of the Angus and Brangus Association, Mauricio León, we will learn about the history of Angus cattle in Colombia, and how, since then, the work has been perfected to have the animals with the best yields. Viewers, my name is Mauricio León Gómez. I am a zoo technician. Currently, I am the executive director of the Angus and Brangus Association of Colombia. Today, we are at the Tierra Leja Cattle Ranch, owned by Mr. Antonio José Piñeros, where we will talk about the history of Angus cattle in Colombia. Well, the importance of having come here to this important cattle ranch is that the animals that you are seeing and those that you saw in the first instance when entering the pasture correspond to cattle with the blood of the first Angus animals that arrived in Colombia in the year 1898. Mr. Ricardo Perdomo, the great-grandfather of Mr. Antonio de Piñeros, owner of this cattle ranch, was the one who imported the first Angus specimens directly from Scotland, the country of origin of this important breed. These animals arrived in Barranquilla by nautical route, and from Barranquilla they went up the entire Magdalena River by a steamboat. They were unloaded in the city of Neva, on the banks of the Magdalena River, at a very high temperature site. From this moment on, the animals began to walk towards the valley of the Arcillas River, on the border between the department of Huila and Caquetá. They began a very long journey in which all these animals that arrived had to wear espadrilles. Due to the stony terrain, it could suddenly harm its hoofs and could cause the loss of the animals during the journey. Thus, it was the first importation of Angus cattle arrived in Colombia. They were located in the valley of the Pancillas River, as I repeat, in the vicinity between the departments of Huila and Caquetá at an altitude of approximately 2,200 meters. The first Angus specimens that arrived in Colombia, of which, I repeat, the animals that we are seeing here, have blood of that same. Well, it is from there when this first genetic base arrives directly brought from Scotland in the department of Willa. That part of the Angus breed begins to be inseminated nationwide. Years later, Mr. Oliverio Lara, son-in-law of Mr. Ricardo Perdomo, who made the first importation, is the one who promotes the development and promotion of this breed at the national level. This was the first genetically based import with which livestock was founded throughout the country. Subsequently, with the importation of genetic material directly to Argentina and the United States, new genetic lines entered in Colombia, which refreshed the first importation of cattle that arrived from Scotland. But, looking for not to lose the characteristics of adaptation or fertility maternal ability and biotype adapted to Colombian environmental conditions as a result of this imports of seminal genetic material that was worked from the United States, there was a considerable increase in size since it was reflected in a certain loss of adaptation and reproductive efficiency in cattle. In the Tierraleja livestock, the procedures are carried out around the year, more or less, 1981, 
a great selection of cattle is made, looking for how to preserve those first import lines from 1898, in order to preserve that biotype of animal that was adapted so well to Colombian conditions, and that it was reflected in exceptional reproductive indicator, maternal ability and growth. Given the difficulty of being able to obtain genetic material in Scotland, as the cattle ranch was forced to make us of American genetics in the ranch bar, in the Elevant Ranger, bringing a genetics that considerably increased the frame score from 4.5 to just over 5. This is very favorable for Colombia, but in our tropical conditions, which makes the most efficient animals of the biotype we are having at the moment in this recording. Medium-sized animals, animals with a large body structure, large volume, in very good condition and a very defined meat biotype. It is then that towards the year 1999 or the year 2000, Mr. Antonio José Piñeros undertakes an investigation in Scotland, where its main objective is to preserve to locate genetic houses, where it could locate blood from animals that arrived to Colombia in 1898. A bit of a long search, because it was very difficult to find 120-year-old genetic material, but finally, he manages to get it in a Scottish genetic house, amples of semen from bulls of that time and with this, he manages in 2004, four years after starting his trip to Scotland, to bring seminal material from there to be able to refresh the blood of his livestock and take back that Scottish blood. To verify that they return to their cattle the original biotype in terms of size and with adaptive characteristics after more than 120 years, we are reflecting it in this excellent cattle that we have in this program. Animals of medium size, of a large body volume, a very good expression of muscles and an enviable genetic quality, which we see reflected in the very good quality of the calves, because at this moment all the cows that we have here are lactating. After this importation of genetic material from Scotland, these vials began to be used in Tierra Leja livestock cattle, both here in La Calera and on the farm that is located in the valley of the Valsillas River, where the most important nucleus is found. Large selection of this livestock. The reception has been very great and one of the most important things about this cattle ranch is that it was the founding base for many farms throughout the country. Nowadays, their products, both heifers as bulls as semen, have a great acceptance at the national level and a great recognition at the international level, because the adaptation characteristics is not only reflected in the characteristics of fertility, maternal ability, growth, but also in that we are, at this moment, standing in the herd of pure Angus located at the highest altitude in the world, not only nationally, but worldwide. It is very important for everyone, they know part of this history. Unfortunately, and I have to say so, its owner, Antonio José Piñeros, could not join us. And I say this because telling a story of this that only he could tell in great detail is quite a difficult challenge. But we thank him for having opened the doors of his livestock to show this to Colombia and to the world. The selection program managed by the Tierra Leja Cattle Ranch has some pillars that structure it. The number one is called fertility, which is the basis of being and the economic reason for any livestock farm for both meat and milk. In this case, the specialty meat would win. Second, there is the maternal ability. Something very important is the conservation of the biotype because it is very important that the herds maintain their conformation, their size, these characteristics that make it so efficient with indicators ranging from calf produced per cow per year. With this test, they reach around 280 to 300 kilos and with a very well-directed 
genetic program that makes Tierra Leja livestock products have a great acceptance throughout the national territory. We are, as I was saying, at a height of 3,200 meters above sea level. These animals have at their disposal water of excellent quality, which comes from the moors. It is absolutely pure water. They have grass available, fails pruning. They have rye grass. At this time, we find it a bit nature, because we come from a very strong summer season, where we had to tighten the loads a bit. But it is a grass that, in reality, preserves its nutrients very well. We see it expressed in the great body condition of these animals, in a reproductive behavior that has not been affected, and in a condition that shows us that grass, in fact, with a good amount of fever in beef cattle, works quite well. Well, to finish, we want, once again, to thank Mr. Antonio Jose Piñeros for having opened the doors of his cattle ranch, which we hope to be visiting in the Huila area, so that we can continue to expand and hopefully, with his voice, this part of the history of one of the most important, if not the most important, cattle ranches, because in this cattle, the blood that runs throughout them is the origin of the Angus breed in Colombia. Again, thank you very much, a very special thanks also to TV Agro for having given us the opportunity to tell this little story in which we wanted to show part of the history, the first importation and what still remains of the Angus cattle in Colombia. Thank you very much and we hope in the next opportunity to be able to expand something more about the history of Angus cattle at the national level.